Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching. Um, I thought I'd do a little recap of the year um, because 2022 has been the year that I have flushed, done a liver flush every single week. Um, and actually for a short period, I was doing them twice a week. Um, and so I just wanted to give you a bit of a progress report because um, I haven't done an update for a while now. Um, and if it's YouTube, then I don't think I've posted an update for about three or four months. So, yeah. So what's it like uh, flushing once a week uh, for, you know, 52 weeks? Um, and what have I seen in that time? So... Obviously, the Andreas Moritz book talks about flushing, um, you know, between every, I think it's around every four to six weeks. So I guess I had to deal with a certain amount of kickback from people who believed in the traditional model of liver flushing and kind of cautioned against doing it too often. You know, kind of suggesting maybe it might da be damaging to do it that often. But in actual fact, um, I haven't found it damaging at all um, and it has allowed me to slowly and steadily carry on reclaiming li my life back from chronic illness in a way that <clears throat> if I just left it once a month, I would have made much slower progress. So although I don't think this year has been, I've seen kind of dramatic changes in my health, I have seen a reliable, slow and steady increase um, in all the things that I was starting to see last year. Um, and I'm really glad that I flushed um, every week. Um, I've come to the conclusion um, that I probably won't continue that weekly flushing schedule um, next year in 2023. I think what I'm starting to see now is um, more room between stones or more room between congestion or pockets of congestion. And as a result, I'm if I'm flushing weekly, I'm seeing that I'm getting more unproductive flushes because it's taking more flushes to push the matter um, closer to the, the main exit, um, the main bile duct. Um, and that's causing uncomfortable symptoms for me because it's um, it's causing blockages and the blockages are not moving. They're not coming out. It's taking more flushes to to push the congestion out. So I think I'm going to change my strategy in 2023. I think I'm going to go back to flushing once a fortnight. But I'm going to spend almost the entire fortnight doing intensive prep different kinds of prep but just kind of really intensive prep for that so um yeah so that's what I'm I'm going to do so I'm changing and changing my schedule but in terms of what I've seen um I would say yeah just slowly and steadily um reclaiming my life um I've been able to take on more work um more responsibility um with less stress so in other words, it's not that the work I'm taking on is less stressful. It's just I'm I'm able to feel more emotionally resilient. So I'm working really hard. I, you know, sometimes I'm working in the evenings. Um, I'm working at the weekends. Um, you know, I see my coaching clients um, and I've been building up my coaching business. And that's been, you know, really fantastic and really rewarding. Um, so I'm juggling a lot of different plates. I think probably two two years ago, three years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I feel like I've made um, significant strides in the amount of work I can take on. I think I'm dealing with stressful situations better. Um, you know, when I was young, I do remember kind of crumbling under just even like moderate amounts of stress and just really struggling to contain my emotions, to stop myself from crying over small things. I just don't feel quite like that anymore. Um, I feel like I'm able to manage my emotions, that my emotional resilience is stronger. Um, just as a couple of examples, I think things at work that maybe might have made me really, really nervous and really provoked my fight or flight response, I'm able to deal with a little bit more equanimity. And also one of the other things I've noticed is I'm able to expose 
myself to um, to stress in different ways um, and not feel as kind of emotionally raw about things. So I can watch um, a film or I can listen to the news or I can, um, yeah, w without feeling like it, like my th my skin is really thin. So sometimes if I watch an upsetting film, especially if it's anything to do with children or trauma, sometimes I would literally run crying from the room. Like I couldn't watch anything tra traumatic in that way and I couldn't listen to traumatic news. And now I can. And I can obviously still feel upset or moved. Um, but I don't feel like um, my my kind of nervous system is as open and as vulnerable to, to those sorts of things. So I feel like I've got a healthier kind of emotional barrier. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, generally, my ability to concentrate has improved. Um, I would say I've become, I think there was a dullness in my brain, I think as a result of brain fog and also just a brittleness there that I just felt like I couldn't take on new things I couldn't absorb new information and now I just feel that's much much better so I feel like and now I want to open my mind to things I want to listen to I watch you know documentaries and non-fiction programs I want to read novels again you know for a long time I just stopped reading novels uh, particularly after I had my child I just felt like I couldn't I just didn't have the bandwidth really I guess to to absorb information um I've even found after what particular couple of flushes more recently that I started to develop my love of classical music again and there's a spiritual element there as well which is an interesting kind of uh evolution of my psyche that I feel like I'm kind of open to spiritual experiences and to feel connect I feel connected to the world I feel connected to nature um I feel connected to some kind of divine presence as well which is which is interesting and I've heard other veteran flushers talk about this so it's really really interesting that that's like a common thread it makes you wonder like are humans you know when humans are free of congestion when they are um you know free flowing abundantly free-flowing in their energy and their nature that they should feel we should feel connected with um spirit with the earth um with the divine um i kind of don't really know how to articulate it other than it's a feeling of there's being something beyond this life or be beyond beyond what we can see um so yeah, that's that's quite interesting as well. So I don't know where that's going to take me, but I have heard lots of other veteran flushes talk about the same sort of thing. Um, so this year I stopped feeling like I needed a nap at the weekend. Um, I used to catch up on sleep um, every weekend and, and nap for, you know, half an hour or whatever on a Saturday and Sunday. I don't currently feel like I need to do that and I haven't felt like that for a few weeks, which is amazing. It's just freed up my time. Um, and freed up my, you know, my ability to absorb myself in other tasks. Um, I feel like I don't need to sleep as much full stop, and that if I do, if I do go out and I do get a bit sleep deprived, I don't feel completely ruined the next day. Um, my caffeine sensitivity has improved. Um, just doesn't give me a kind of an adrenal sort of uh, burst or a kind of feeling of a adrenaline or just feeling tension that it used to um my alcohol sensitivity kind of comes and goes with the flushes like if i if i go out and i have a couple of drinks off just after i've done a really good flush i can drink um you know two or three drinks and feel absolutely fresh the next day if if that's not happened um then my alcohol sensitivity is still not great so i'm still kind of working on that i mean i don't kind of think that you know flushes should be seen as a as a, as a kind of quick quick route to, to just kind of drinking as much as you want. That's not really what I'm advocating. I'm just saying that if you do want to drink, um, then obviously, you know, having a clean or a cleaner liver is going to be an advantage. Um, 
and my mood and my sense of irritability those were the you know two of the big issues um that i think feels it ebbs and flows again with the congestion so if i'm you know if, if it's after a, a flush a successful flush i can feel very you know equitable i don't find people irritating i can deal with my child who has quite severe um, additional needs I can deal with him with, you know, without kind of getting emotionally invested in what's going on. I can take a step backwards from that. Um, but I wouldn't say that's resolved by any means. And if it's, um, you know, if I've done a few flushes, they've been non-productive, then I can feel some of those kind of irritable feelings, feelings of stress and internal tension coming back. Finally, I would say I still, you know, being totally transparent, I still haven't completely resolved my adrenal uh, weakness you know my my original problem was um, severe candida uh, gut infection and overgrowth and as a result of that my adrenals were pretty much destroyed um, and I have very very low cortisol unfortunately I've still got low cortisol at some moments of the day but then other points of the day I feel like just naturally my cortisol picks up and is much and is more normal where it should be and I feel that sometimes I can go through a period of stress but I can rally in a way that maybe I wouldn't have been able to do a couple of years ago so just generally speaking really positive um, I'm going to try flushing every two weeks and see how that schedule goes just kind of a general word I suppose to you if you are flushing it's just try not to compare yourself to other people. So yes, you know, I've been flushing for six years. It seems like a really long time. Um, I haven't always flushed weekly. I haven't always flushed monthly. Some periods I went for six months without doing a flush. So um, this year has seen the most consistent progress of all the years that I've been flushing. So I think it's totally achievable. Um, and um, yeah, just don't compare yourself to other people. You know, it's not about the number of flushes you do. It's about how you feel. If you still have symptoms, if you still feel emotionally or physically congested or you still have those sorts of, um, you know, chronic illness symptoms, then your liver needs addressing and it will you will carry, you need to carry on doing that for as long as it takes. And then eventually the periods between flushes, you'll feel great for longer you'll have more consistent energy um greater mood those are the things to 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 look for and if you don't have those things um if you don't feel consistently physically and emotionally good then you need to carry on your your flushing journey so best of luck and um here's to 2023